DIY rubber band bracelets. This tutorial, spiral bracelet with rainbow loom. The difficulty for this video is simple. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's Becky and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the spiral bracelet on the rainbow loom. So, you're going to need your rainbow loom, you're going to need your hook or a crochet hook, then two colors of rubber bands. I'm going to be using um, purple and lime green. Then you're going to need your clip and that's all you'll need. So, let's get this rubber band bracelet tutorial started. You can set your clip aside because we won't be needing it till the end. Let's get started. Take your loom so the red arrow is pointing away from you. Take your first band, mine's going to be purple, put it there. Now, take your... Oh my god, <coughs> hang on, I need to blow my nose. Taking my next color, push it kind of down, and then pull it up here. Take your second, oop, there's like a hair on it. Okay. Put it like that. My god. Oh my god, there's just hair all over it. <laughs> um, and with this bracelet, try not to get your rubber bands twisted much. So yeah, after getting the hair off of it, <laughs> if you have any hair on it, um, take this band, put it up there now. Take this band, put it there. Ah, stupid hair! Then take this band, I'll show you one more time, and take this band, put it up there, and this band, put it up there. So basically it's going to look like this, like there's going to be green, that, purple. So, you want to just do that all the way up the loom, so I'll be right back once I'm done with that. Make sure to not get your bands twisted. Okay, there we go. Now that you are done placing your bands, we're going to move on to the next step. We'll need to place a cap band on this band. So whatever band, like mine's green, whatever band that is, that's the color cap band you'll need to place. How to make a cap band, just make a figure eight, put it upon itself, and then put it on that peg. Now we're ready to start looping. Turn your loom so the red arrow is now at the top and it's pointing toward you. So the first one we loop, we pull, pull, pull back that cat band. I like to hold it and then take this one, loop it over like that. And a really good tip is to make sure your rubber bands are probably pushed down halfway. Loop this band over here, and you will no longer have a band over here. Then, have this band, take it and pull that up here, and take this back, take this. And pull it oops, over that pin. I'll be showing you one more time. This pin over there. This one to there. This one to there. This one to there. And you want to do that up the whole loom. So I'll be right back once I am done looping all mine. Remember, if you see any bands twisted, please try to untwist them. Otherwise, your band, your rubber band, your bracelet will look kind of um, a bit tacky when they're wrinkled. So try to not get as many like, um, little, like you can have a little, like a few, but not a lot. 
right back when I'm done. And this final one. Yeah, yeah. Take this last one and loop it over here. Now that we have looped all of our bands, we are ready to finish the bracelet. Take all these bands and just scrunch them up to the top. Take your um, big band, put it through here and make sure all those bands are on top of it. <laughs> now whatever color your green is, that's the band that you're gonna wanna be doing this with. So take that band, pull it up through there, and then pull it around there, and then take both of those and slide it up to the thickest part. Now, hold on it and pull the bracelet off with your fingers. There can be some loose ones, so if there are loose ones, don't worry, you did it right if there's some loose ones. Now, you need to extend the bracelet unless you have that small of a wrist, which is probably like a baby size, oops, but how we extend it, so, so sorry if there's that little orange thing in the corner, just ignore it, and we're gonna be taking, um, make sure the arrow, the red arrow is away from you, just take some bands, I usually take five to extend mine, but, if this is an adult size bracelet, then you might only need, you only need like six or seven, but if this is a children's bracelet, or if this is an infant's bracelet, you won't need to extend it probably. If this is a children's bracelet, you should only do three or four. Then take this uh, cap band. these two greens or whatever color you did sorry I didn't really show you guys right there so I'm gonna put that on there and then take it loop that over loop that oops my band's almost popped off That's why you want to push your bones down, guys. This one pops off. You don't want it to pop off. <laughs> Here, then you can take these two and, oops, not like that. And keep them on here and pull them over here. Crap, I'm sorry you guys. I'm sorry. So then you get your clip, whatever you've got. Put it on there. And then just pick these up. Slide them on. This one off, then this one that's on there, spread it out. Take the other side of the clip and just clip it. Oh no. And that's how you make a rainbow spiral bracelet. I hope you liked it. And Go watch my previous tutorial on how to make a rainbow loom honeycomb bracelet if you didn't watch that video already.
But yeah, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye. Happy looming.